Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Civilization. What this video is gonna be about, it's exactly and you are correctly right. Like it says into the title, this is about six starring Richard I and maxing out his skills. There's gonna be two in one, I'm gonna do this in the same video. I mentioned and people were keep asking me, why aren't you maxing out his skills, why aren't you maxing out his skills? Well, I waited because I want to give him a separate video because I'm really, really hyped. And you have no idea how much I have worked and invested time and money to manage to max out this commander. All right. So let's get going. Before any of that, I just want to say a couple of things that is value on all legendary commanders. You, many of you who are following on this channel probably heard them already many of the people that are new so they might want to hear it again all right so it's very important that legendary commanders you keep them at one star until you max out his first skill that is going to cost you 50 sculptures either specific or universal ones and i'm going to show you what i'm trying to say about for example i can pick frederick so that is correct you keep him at one star until you max out his first skill after his first skill is maxed out you can proceed and unlock his other stars. Maxing out his first skill of a legendary commander, you can make a utility of that legendary commander. The second step, you want to max out all his skills, it's gonna cost you 690 in total, including the first one. 690. 690. So that is correct. That is how many legendary sculptures you need to max out whole skills of a legendary commander that is the reason i always advise everyone to max out the first skill before you proceed for uh, forward with the other skills so you max out the first skill. after that you can unlock all his other skills the cost of the skill is the following is 10 for the first two 15 for the next two then is 30 for the next two 40 for the next two then is 45 for the next two 50 for the next two, 75 for the next two, and 80 for the last two. In total, it's 690 legendary sculptures. If you want to upgrade his stars, from 4 to 5 stars, it's going to cost you about 150 legendary stars. And I'm talking about the normal legendary stars. I'm not talking about bundles or the special ones. To get him from 5 to 6 stars, well, we are going to find out, aren't we? Because that is what we are going to do next. So let's go ahead. No, not plus. We have to press on this one. 18 of them. Confirm. Upgrade. Doesn't matter which is the one because we have another 80. And we are going to max out. So there you go. 3 points on the expertise from... Charles Martel and obviously guys on the future videos and future live streams we are going to experience a maxed out Richard the first confirm I'm super excited and I'm super hyped about this and upgrade and there you go we have all of them this is the increased healing effect received by troops and reduce the watchtower damage now definitely definitely no one is gonna ever freaking wanna fight me and let's I will have to click on it expertise attained tyrannical lion that is correct Booyakasha Kaboom Reduce all damage taken by 5% and increase damage dealt to cavalry units take that cavalry <coughs> take it long and hard god damn cavalries by two additional by two percent in addition every 10 seconds decrease the target march speed that is correct reduce their march speeds and pound them pound the freaking cavalry pound them down kill them all the, all of them the tyrannical lion is gonna smash all the cavalry Woof. and now he has a very nice golden circle around him a golden aura look at that maxed out richard the first now let's go ahead let's keep on pumping 
you know what i'm gonna go with the big ones i'm not even going to bother how about if i use this 1500 on this well let's go ahead level up level up i'm not even gonna think about it level up one more level up and i suppose i have to do it one more time like in use like 200 of this and one more level up what so if i use this it's the same thing what is going on no yes leave it 1000 experience is not gonna be a problem why do you keep bothering me i was so hyped here with my <clears throat> boy richard the first now let's go ahead and get into six star let's do this part as well right so this is what i was talking about this is the star that i was talking about so for from to for four to from four to five you need about uh, 150 of these and from five to six we are going to find out so we have 649 i'm just going to pop those ones i'm not going to pop the special ones it would have been probably much faster with the special ones but they're special so i can keep them for some other time since i have 600 of these 649 i'm sorry so let's develop let's keep on popping the develop button Let's spend them. Spend all the stars. Woo! <laughs> Time to spend some stars. Keep on spending, boy. We are at 90 and something percent. It's a couple of more times with some critical hit. And that's it. Is one enough? No, two enough. Six star Richard the first, our tyrannical lion reach to six star. So I have two of the best infantry legendary commander, six stars and maxed out, ladies and gentlemen. Now that is <coughs> the deal. That is the big thing. Now that is a moment of celebration, to be honest. I just wanted to keep it a slightly moment over here. Upgrade successful. Yes. That was a moment of joy. Right, so I was saying that is 649. So it took me a total of... 422 that is correct so it took me 422 legendary stars to max him out from 5 to 6 so that is how much it cost me 422 stars he is max level and now we have 15 more talent points to spend on richard the first as i was mentioning at some point that i'm doing a mixture with uh, with his his talents right now i'm just trying this out just in case i ever gonna get attacked in my city so this is what i'm trying out i'm not saying you should try out if you want to see his talents you can check on the description of the video i have link for the legendary commander talents and you can see the proper garrison talents this is just something that i want to try out if i ever get attacked by doing this particular talent build that i have just done right here i obtained all the three rage regeneration ones that is correct that is was my point i want to see to regenerate as much rage as possible if i ever get attacked and i want to have heal in the same time so i have three more points so i can do this one which it reduce the skill damage i take by another nine percent which is pretty significant 
and he can obtain another 10 more in the future. So there's gonna be three here while this commander is serving as a garrison commander increased damage dealt to attacking armies. It's gonna be three here, it's gonna be one here and another three here which reduce the skill damage taken by another 15% so that is really significant. So that is seven and then I'm gonna put most likely three on the attack city guardian because the wash tower at level 25 it, ha it has quite a lot of attack another 15 percent it's gonna be something rather than increase increasing his defense or i could go with defense it's a matter of choice so that is gonna be the next 10 talent points which i will do on the garrison to reduce the skill damage and more defense or attack to my so i as I was mentioning, this is just a tryout in defense. But that is the main reason why I'm trying to use this one because I have all the three rage. I have the extra healing because every time Richard is going to use his healing, not to mention that my Richard is maxed out and it has the 30% healing enhancement. So that is going to help me a lot. And whenever Charles Martel, which is the second one, is going to use his shield, He's gonna pop this 300 healing factor as well and when you, when you have like I'd 1.1 million troops in defense uh, that healing factor might be pretty significant and uh, my defense it might replenish a lot a lot of troops while absorbing a lot of damage because I had the, I already have Charles Martel shield so I don't basically need another shield with a chance to pop up you know what I mean because that a chance for the divine favor uh, to pop up. I have Charles Martel for that, which is maxed out as well. So I believe that this is a very interesting and good talent build for defense, but it requires testing in the garrison. If you want to ask me, it can actually be the best or it I can actually see his potential when I get another 10 more levels on my Richard. This another 15% skill damage taken reduced, 6% more damage from, from my garrison and either 15% more defense or attack to my watchtower. This is going to make the difference. Obviously, if you make the full garrison talent part, you're going to have all this. Right, so that would be for this one. As I mentioned, this is just a tryout if I ever get attacked so I can make I can know if this is going to work or not. So the hype is real. Richard the first is maxed out. Ladies and gentlemen, he's level 50 at 6 star. All I have to do is just get him 10 more levels, which his next 10 levels, just so you know, is static. The experience, it doesn't grow anymore. So what is that supposed to mean? It means that it's going to be 2 million 800 and 200. So for each level up to 60, you can see that on my... Charles Martel, if you guys didn't know that, is the same experience for each level. So basically, I need another 28 million experience to max out my Richard. It's same is for epic ones, once they reach level 50, from 50 to 60 is the same experience per level, if you guys didn't know that. So this is my second legendary maxed out in skills <laughs> and the six star and my next one is gonna be Miramoto because I just have to buy his packs from the shop but that is gonna be for another video because I will do it I will max him out so the hype is real Richard is real and then I'm ready to fight tier 5 guys I'm ready whoever wants to fight with his tier 5 Gavari with me I'll fight him I'll definitely fight him I'm ready I can't wait to try them out. So until next time, this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing out. Peace out, yo, and take care.